in regards of the knocking thing, the fucking thing would instantly turn off or uh, turn on your camera, man. That is so bullshit. Uh, what's the knocking uh, thing? It's a new feature they released just the other day. Yeah, here it is. Knock knock streamers can now collaborate with other Twitch streamers who are live without any advanced setup or planning. Look for the collaboration icon to find a streamer in your network who is open to collaborating with you and click knock to get started. Learn more. This motherfucker is now when people ask me what does being a Twitch ambassador mean? I can say I told them to make this feature and they actually hacking did it. Can't wait to give it a try. By the way, when this was in testing, people said they didn't like it. People said they didn't like it because mm. it's an opt-in feature. People already said they didn't fucking like this. Thank you. Nice. Muted this a while ago because I ain't subjecting myself to your old brain rot. But if it wasn't obvious, uh, if it wasn't obviously clear, me telling Twitch, please, please add better features for collabing and making collab organizing communication easier. It's not the same as me deciding how exactly that is executed. You know, that would be a valid point if he didn't have the language he used because... Twitch ambassador? Question mark? Brain rot? What? He's just insulting people. Yeah, like, why Why bring that out? Like, the moment you start yelling, screaming, and insulting people, like, in a criticism or debate, you just outright surrendered. You lost. Yeah, like, bitches... That is a constant just, rule. Yeah, he's already emotionally fucking involved. On, like... Just chill, and the amount of people saying no one asked for this, bro. None of y'all asked for anything. You actually need to grow on Twitch, cause you have no idea what you're doing. Collab content is proven to be extremely effective, but you refuse to engage in it because you're terrified of people. Uh, so yeah, he like, he's literally in this now, though. Like literally, first of all, that second of all, he's putting everyone in this. Like there's, there's some people that just don't want to collab. Big people have said no. Everything. Like, big people have said this, this sucks. Shailili, Zendaya, Bao, Amelie, Alara, Rosie. Like, all these people right here, they all dislike this feature. We all hate this feature. Yeah, but that doesn't matter because one emotional person on Twitter automatically like beats out all of you. Why is he so defensive about this? Literally, why? Why is he so defensive about this? People fucking probably hate because, this feature. Uh, probably because this person like made the feature Collab and no. essentially every fucking insult to the feature is an insult to this person like directly now, somehow. I think that's the thought <sighs> process behind it. It's not much of a thought process. There really isn't. There really isn't much of a thought process. You know the worst thing about this feature, by the way, is that um, when you accept it, it instantly turns on your camera. It That's instantly turns up. on your camera, man. Is it? Wouldn't that like low key? Wait, I saved something breach, somewhere. Would that yeah. low key like breach privacy laws in Europe? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yes, but there, he, there's, he, there's a reason why, like every time they want to turn something on or like uh, want to uh, track or use the, the, your data somewhere, you have to press I consent somewhere. Yeah, I am not entirely There's sure about that. Good either. reason. I'm pretty sure that is illegal to do, at least in Europe. Like the way you explain it, at least. I, I don't know if there's more to it. Uh, imagine admitting you're responsible for one of the most hated Twitch changes in a long time and immediately getting exposed by numerous VTubers that the reason you wanted the feature is so you can force your way into their spaces despite the fact they think you're a creep. Now, this is pretty interesting. Like, I would... I haven't seen any proper, like, tweets about it myself where other VTubers exposed them for that, but that's very interesting. Um, There were more comments on this yesterday. Yeah, who are we talking about? Evil Toaster. Dude's only lasted this long because he has so many red flags that even the dumbest woman keep away from him. 
It's been almost a year since the last toaster selfie dropped, so here's a treat since I'm out on con business. Representing Twitch and Haruka Nation today, as well as Zenny's nail painting skills. I don't see this much as a red flag, to be honest. It's whatever. It's a, a personal thing. Yeah, hello. Today I am 29. I am also now ready to share with everyone that I am bisexual and gender fluid slash non-binary. He and they pronouns currently interchangeable. I'm gonna I'm just say, um, like, I don't think there was an announcement necessary. I think people were well aware from the posts. Yeah, yeah. I've known this they about myself for a long time. That... It's time you all do to you. I think it was pretty obvious, yeah. It, it was pretty damn obvious, and uh, not a red flag before either, and after yeah. announcement, I did not care any more or less. Yeah. Like, yep, it, it's yep, still yep. like, alright, that's your thing. Like, I don't need to give a shit. Literally. Immaculate proof that the people in the position at Twitch much at the same as YouTube for the stuff to actually listen to have absolutely no idea what actual content creators want. Little bro I'm talks just about. Why exactly did you have three fucking presidents suggested to follow on Twitter on the previous oh. tab? Look, three presidents. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> We're both talking about none of y'all ask for anything you actually need to grow on Twitch because you have no idea what you're doing. Collab content is proven to be extremely effective, but you refuse to engage. Collab content is actually really effective, but let people decide how and when they want to do it and not force them into a feature they not have consented to. Yep. Yeah, collabs work and are fun when content creators planned out. No one is going to be out here cold calling random streamers they don't know. That's exactly this, man. Like, I'm not gonna go out and just go fucking knocking on uh, Asman's door. Like, what the fuck or do you mean? Country. Like, he, I could knock right now. Ask to join the stream at any time. Like, what do you mean? I mean, honestly, you could do the same in real life, to be honest. But for some reason, in real life, you got a restraining order. <laughs> Do it? No, shut the What's fuck up, up chat. You might just ban me if I did that, Wh man. Shut the Which fuck up, chat. Which order update when? <laughs> <laughs> uh, collapse work and I'll follow. They don't know beyond the first few weeks to use as a joke material. Yep. Also, very presumptuous to assume any. One unhappy with this new feature is nobody who has no idea how to grow, literally. Like, as I said and shown, big VTubers already are fucking unhappy with this. Like, Shalilis and Try, etc, etc. And if this was about collapse, you literally had a multi-view streaming feature removed because no one was using it then. Replaced with the dollar store version of a Discord call that only works if you're live. Oh yeah, that feature fucking sucks ass. Like, me and Tongs looked into that and that bitch sucks so much ass. The previous feature was better for Collapse and still no one used it. And even if you wanted to launch your pet project to gloat about how you have influence at Twitch, why would you then claim you have no input in how it's implemented when people want a way to turn it off? But, 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 ma, look it to favorites and just don't add favorites. That's a workaround for a poorly implemented tool, not an actual opt-out. That is true. Like, you can quote-unquote turn it off by disallowing people to knock on your door or knock on your stream, whatever, but it's so done so poorly. It's like an instant... Like, it's it, an opt-in. It, it's literally like, just no, to require two fucking sliders. Yeah. Yeah, literally. Like just like, one like turn on like turn on by default. Let us like, like you, you make it an opt out feature. You get like So basically it's just hey you're collabing with me now feature. Yeah, you it's I think the other person has to accept too. I didn't test it myself. And ironically, like it's just so bad. kidnapping on stream. <laughs> it's like you're you're my content now, fuck you. So this is just a joke to you then? Oh, You've feel. upset so many people and your next step is to ignore it and be smug on Twitch. It isn't about you ruining Twitch, it's about your condescending attitude towards the other creators and your inability to take accountability. 
True, 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 true. Guy who literally ruined Twitch is playing Overwatch again. Okay, man, actually. That is, that is so cringe of him. That is so fucking cringe of him. This you, big dog, all you do is complain on how nobody reaches out to play games with you. So not surprised you're a fan of a feature that literally lets you barge in on someone's stream uninvited. Maybe there's a reason people don't reach out to you. Food for thought. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did actually no one want to collab with him and that's why he uh, pushed this? <laughs> Wait. Uh, that is... Wait. That, that, must, that must suck. <laughs> I can't that handle this anymore, man. I'm so tired of being the person that gets my friends to stop being so terrified of my other friends just for them all to stop being better friends without me and do nothing to include me. I'm literally guiding everyone to the thing I can't have. Probably because he's not very likable as a person in real life either. Jesus Christ. Every convention is another reminder that I'm not one of the girlies and I'm never gonna get the kind of treatment and affection they give each other even though I try to connect with them. I've gotten better at dealing with that fact over time, but it still hurts to think about. Oh my god, bro. He just referred to a group of people as the girlies? Yeah, he did. Uh... <laughs> uh am I the only one who takes the online status on Discord seriously? Oh, I've seen this tweet when that was on. I'm less likely to DM new peeps if they have D&D &D unless we've established a preferenship. One time I actually checked and no joke, less than 5% of VTubers in my friend list have online enabled. The status means nothing to me anymore. Crazy thing is I still don't get DM'd ever even with a green light and putting please DM me in my status so it double means nothing. Bro! Oh, bro! No! Yeah, people are very willing to give a handshake to a walking match, no? Jesus! This guy's actually just using a new Twitch feature to project. Yeah! People actually just didn't want to interact with the guy, so he pushed that feature to exist. Ain't no way! How come Twitch always, like, endorses and gives, like... Uh, how? Yeah, how is he a Twitch like ambassador? Like, is it like this the like third or fourth person that is just clearly you know not capable of being a like public environment? The last or Twitch ambassador. Be allowed to be one? The last Twitch ambassador I remember is the dear girl or whatever the uh, fuck that, that was. That, yeah, yeah, that that was yeah. that was the first one that was really bad. Literally the oh first wave. Oh my god! And, uh, you know, apparently we were being uh, transphobic for hating on a personality that's not likable. Yeah, oh my god. I hate when is. people instantly uh, cry to phobia when we just dislike them for their personality, man. Like, I've, I've, This is the reason why some people are genuinely starting to see this as a compliment at this point. No, I could be wrong, but this update seems to be pushed because Evitus have felt abandoned by their friends, so instead of talking with them, they abuse their position as an ambassador to force collapse with people. Jesus, I think those are just the same screenshots again. So how much what does the saw. fucking leadership in Twitch suck for a single person to be allowed to, like, have this much influence? <coughs> right? Like, what the fuck is this? This is not even this dude's fault as much. Like, it's Twitch as well. Like, no single person should be allowed to just decide on a whim. Yeah, this gets shipped. Oh my god, thanks for the follow laser turrets. 81875. <laughs> you all have no idea what you're doing. You're only relevant because you know Zentria. Shut the fuck up. Acting like you're actually someone important, dumbass. Oh my god. <laughs> Guy who literally ruined Twitch is playing Overwatch again to ruin that too. Yeah, man. That's Shut the hard. fuck up. Daddy man. just using the hate now to start attention yeah, seeking. Yeah, yeah. Jesus he can't Christ. Get, like, anyone to like him, I guess. I don't know. That's just what it seems like to me. I want to be wrong, but uh, I have yet to be proven wrong. The fact when you attempt a, sh a shoehorning yourself into a bigger content creator stream backfires and instead find out that everyone actually hates you. Womp. <laughs> womp womp. <coughs> Man just started his villain arc update unironically. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say anything, but here I am, and I say this out of respect for someone who I've been following a long time. For you to say something like this is insane when you just... Last year you were talking like this. For you to put people down like that when in 2018... Toaster, you have so many friends. The reality is... 
I'm in the toughest spot I've ever been in regarding making friends. Too big for small streamers to be comfortable talking to me. Too small to be a priority for bigger streamers who need to keep tight circles for their safety. Jesus Christ, man. When I was smaller, my inbox was flooded and I'd wake up to a ton of new DMs every day. Yeah, let me tell you what kind of DMs those were. <laughs> Graphic artists. <laughs> Graphic designers! Professional graphic designers! Uh... <laughs> yeah. Wanting to sell you some art! <laughs> uh... People offering <laughs> you 50 bucks for 10 hours worth of their mobile game stream. Some OF links. Stuff like that, man. <laughs> It's mean, nowhere it's close to that now. Like, now that I've grown, I've gotten less of those DMs too. Like, I'm getting less of those scam artist DMs too. So, yeah. 100% must have been just fucking bots, man. Fucking dumbass out here. Now people tell me they're intimidated by me. No, I don't I don't think anyone told me this, but okay, sure, sure. Let's say they did by me or feel like I'm too popular for them. Or are afraid to approach me because they'll look like a cloud chaser. Everyone is always afraid to look like a fucking cloud chaser. I'm afraid to look like a cloud chaser when I'm raiding anyone. I admitted this to fucking Rosie herself that sometimes I'm a little bit too scared to raid her because I don't want to seem like a cloud chaser for raiding her so often. But she was like very sweet about it too. Oh, nice. Now she saw that. It's uh, so much easier for me to connect with bigger streamers now because I don't have to worry about that dynamic. But them actually becoming friends is challenging because all the big streamers are so busy and can't afford to invest much time outside of the safe friend circles. Yeah, well, that's just business. Being a streamer isn't <coughs> just a hobby to them. It's their fucking lively livelihood. And yes, of course, they're fucking busy. Fucking deal with it. Be a more likable and supportive person. Maybe they will give you fucking attention. And I understand that, and the more I grow, the more I understand exactly why they have to do that. But this phase of my growth between being seen as equals with smaller creators and being big enough where I can't be ignored is really lonesome. I will simply continue to grow, Jesus Christ, man. Kids be like, fuck you and your mom? Yeah. Bro, this, this is just a fucking skill issue. This is just a fucking Ew. skill issue. Just sounds like somebody that uh, constantly complains about not having friends while he has actual supportive people like in the background that he never mentions. And the reason why he feels lonely is because he got tired of that like friend group, I guess. Nope. Like it's it's it's, it's fine if you want to get tired of like a specific group of people and just need something new in life, but like don't start like essentially trauma dumping about how you have nothing in life and that's just not like true why don't they never understand common sense yeah that's a good question this is a good point the fact you like at twitch twitch support the fact you allow evil toaster to behave like this and without any consequences absolutely disgusting so much for twitch ambassador to represent positive contributes to the community there's a reason why people are calling them out twitch ambassadors positively contribute contribute to the Twitch community from being role models for their community to establishing new content genres to having inspirational stories that empower those around them. These creators embody what it means to bleed purple. I, I don't think he embodies anything of that. <laughs> Honestly, if Twitch wants to be seen as toxic, sure, go for it. I support him. <laughs> This is a great idea that terribly implemented. We can't turn it off. We can only disable it each stream. That's not entirely true. You can like um, set it to favorites only. Yes. Then set no favorites. But this this isn't the same as turning something off. It's so stupid. We still have no way to turn it off for good right now is the problem. Don't get me wrong. It's a good idea. But so many people don't want their door to be knocked on like that during stream. I hope they give us a way to disable it soon. Set the settings of who can knock on your door to favorites only. Then simply don't set anyone as favorite. And it's not the first time you mentioned, but again, I don't want that feature on at all. 
favorite thing is a band-aid to a feature that should have an off button. This, this right here. This right here. It should just have a fucking off button and be off by default. How big is this guy anyway? Like, 15k here, how big is he on Twitch? Like, the screenshot said he had like 300 viewers, but that might have just been inflated because of uh, the quote-unquote hate he had received. Frog VTuber. Bro, you, you're a PNG. This is a PNG. And yes, I'm sorry, I still see a distinction between just being a flashing PNG tuber and being a VTuber. There is a little bit of a difference. VTubing is actually face acting, while PNG tubing is just an image that just blinks up, like here. Like, Exigon is in the co uh, corner here right now. Technically, he's Hi. a PNG tuber right now. <laughs> Technically. <laughs> Um, Evil Toso, let's pull up his Twitch tracker. Twitch tracker. I love pulling up Twitch tracker, man. <laughs> Evil Toaster. Sounds like somebody that's ego surfing off stream. <laughs> Shut up. Caught in 4K. Average view is 170. Okay. Piggy was 190 down. Yeah, that was probably from the inflation from the hate. More like a VTuber pet. <laughs> man um he he's decently sized bitch what are you fucking crying about man but about a friendly toaster i like the name evil toaster to be honest i like the name but bitch is just an unlikable person bitch is just a fucking unlikable person man These are literally just self-made victims, though. Yeah, literally. Like, professional they, they, victim, actually. They cry, they cry about yeah, the so things that they literally put themselves to in actively. And it make it so much worse every time they cry about it. It's an endless spiral, essentially. Yep. Sorry, I cannot approach guest star with neutrality. This update is awful. They're forcing it on everyone and... Its permission structure by default allows anyone to call. This might be the guy that was talking about the uh, um, uh, the, 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 the webcam feature. <coughs> Turns back on every stream. If you are not interested Mind in collaborating, you, you can minutes. pause, reach S. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll get on it soon. Just a moment. You can literally just set up two favorites. That's. Oh, this guy, man. This guy. Somebody seems to have uh, missed a point by like an entire sea level. Here it is. Twitch cannot claim ignorance. Two months ago, I made a user voice after they accidentally launched a call function on site, suggesting they do not do exactly what they have now done. They do not seem to care about community feedback. How do you accidentally launch a call feature? <laughs> Look how's that happen? Um, either way, I wanted to, uh, quickly, uh, take a look at this too, I, uh, since I mentioned this earlier, since we were talking about the knocking feature. Warning for VTubers, apparently using this feature automatically turns on your webcam. What were they thinking? Literally, what the fuck were they thinking? Like, what the fuck is this? So, this person also made a video about how to turn it off. VTubers, here's how to turn off your camera for Twitch, so it doesn't automatically turn on your webcam. Like, bro. Uh, bro, let's take a look at it. In the search tab, type camera. Oh, there's music to it. Click on the site settings, okay? Like, what? Is this Windows or is this... Like, where is this? Oh, it's in your Chrome settings. This is in your browser itself. Which self-doxing VTubers is crazy, I know, right? Recent activity, yeah, okay. I guess you can just like a block camera out. Ask default. Usually mine is on ask too. But if it turns it on or automatically, even though if, if it's on us, that's crazy. That's fucking crazy if it turns on your fucking webcam automatically. I don't have a webcam connected to my PC. I I have a webcam 
but I don't have my webcam connected for reasons like this. I don't want to accidentally fucking dox my face somehow. I I just have my iPhone. I just have my iPhone for, for uh, tracking. But this 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 shit's so insane, man. Twitch Twitch is so awful. Oh, she also listed how to do it for Opera GX and Firefox. That's very kind. Very kind of them. Very kind of them. Just turn off camera access for Twitch. Yeah, 